Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good morning to my lecturer, Dr. Shumfi Hinata. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Nur Hidayah Giti Shamsuddin with metric number S48318. For this microbiology and aquatic environment, I was from group K2. Okay, for this screencast, I have choose a species of bacteria which is named Vibrio parahemolyticus. Introduction of Vibrio parahemolyticus. For the scientific classification, it was from a kingdom of bacteria, phylum of proteobacteria, class of gamma proteobacteria, order of Vibrionales, family of Vibrionacae, genus of Vibrio, and the species name was V. parahemolyticus. For this species, it is anthropogenic Vibrio that is isolated in Japan on 1951. What is mean by anthropogenic Vibrio, which is it can be produced the disease in the intestinal tract. Next, this species can be easily found in the brackish water, and the cell reproduction it was by asexual reproduction. Next, this species it was a motor species with a single polar flagellum. This Vibrio parahemolyticus is an oxidase positive facultative aerobic and does not form spores like the other bacteria. And this species can be found naturally in a coastal water in Canada and also in the United States. The morphology. This picture is about the morphology of a structure cells of Vibrio parahemolyticus. It has two types of T3 SS system, have two types of T6 SS system, and it also contains many toxic such as TLH, TRH, and TDH. They also contain MAM7, which is used to be attached to the whole cells. Next, it has two different flagella system, which is allowing it to adapt to the changing environment, and also the polar flagellum, which is responsible for swimming, whereas the lateral flagella are closely related to the swarm cell transformation and the biofilm formation. The reproduction. Vibrio parahemolyticus have six stages of cell reproduction. For the first stage, it was from a parent bacteria cells. For the second stage, the cell is starting beginning to elongate it and bring the DNA into the center to be replicated. Stage three, the cells elongate and the DNA is pushed away from the center. For the stage four, the cross wall of the new cells are beginning to be formed. In stage 5, the cross wall of the cells is completely formed and connected to each of the end of the cells. And the last stage, which is the new identical daughter cells, are being completely formed. What, when, or when did it happen? It's about 80% of infections occur between months, May and October when the water temperature are warm. The resistant? There is two. First, it will be dead at the temperature of 16 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes when it was in drying, crystal water or in the vinegar. And at the 4 degrees Celsius, there is no growth but it can be survived in the refrigeration or in the freezing. The key component of Vibrio parahemoticus, there is two types. First is temperature and second is salinity. First is temperature which is in APW soft pro it will be increased rapidly if the temperature is higher than 15 degrees Celsius, but it will be decreased gradually at 0 and 5 degrees Celsius. And the number 2 is salinity, which is there is two types. First is little low salinity and the second is sub little low salinity. For the sub little low salinity, which is about 0 0.6 and for the little low salinity is about 0.25%. Instead, Vibrio parahemolyticus have good or bad effect. It was dangerous. This is because it may cause a gastrointestinal illness, usually male, in the healthy human. By how? By eating raw or undercooked shellfish, crab, fish molars, and shrimp. But the most dangerous is especially eating and raw moisture. What will happen? It will cause diarrhea, leg cramp, vomiting, dehydration, and the low blood pressure. 
the treatment for this disease by drinking a lot of drinking water constantly and taking antibiotic in a doctor permission which is tetracycline, ampicycline and ciprofloxacin. Prevention tips. There is two types. First is individual and the second is group. For the individual prevention tips is do not eat raw or undercooked oyster or other shellfish. Number two, always wash your hand with soap and water after handling a raw shellfish. And number three, stay out of breakage or salt water if you have a wound. For prevention tips for group, there is two. First is wear clothes and shoes that can protect you from cuts and scraps when in the brackish water or the salt water. And the second is a wear protective glove when handling the raw seafood. This is a reference about my research of Bibliophara hemolyticus. Okay. For the conclusion is, do not eat the sauce of food that raw or undercooked, such as sushi, shrimp and the others to avoid this Bibliophara hemolyticus disease. And lastly is, refer to the doctor before you take any medicine if you are being suspected with this bacteria disease. That's all for me. Thank you.